good evening again. Good evening. Good afternoon again, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Craig Game with this, the second of my kits that I bought at the uh, Telford Model Show last weekend. I've been after this kit for quite a while, but it's just been a bit too expensive for her to have a look. But I picked it up for a bargain price at twenty-seven pounds, which I thought was fantastic. I just do like the big Russian, you know, the big Russian uh, Cold War tanks. I think they look really awesome. So I finally got got it. Um, Obviously it's a nice trumpeter kit, nice box art as normal, on the front, nice again and on the, on the sides we have a little bit, bit of, a, you know, slight bit of information about it, the T10 and a bit of photo etch that's in there and other bits and pieces, quite nice. And on the other side we just have another couple of call call outs again and uh, the rest of it's in foreign language, so I can't tell you what it says. She says it's another nice looking, ta another nice looking tank. And the kit number of this is 05546. Obviously, it's 135 scale, so it looks a nice, uh, a nice kit again. So I haven't, I haven't never had a chance to look through any of these really. I've just since I got back from uh, Telford, I've been a bit unwell. With one thing and another, a bit of a sore throat and a blocked nose, and my back and legs are aching. But it was worth it. It was worth it. It really was worth it. So well, let's have a look inside and uh, see what we have. Maybe I'll just do what I normally do. I'll just go from sprue to sprue. First off, we'll start off with the. Uh, we'll start off with these. With these the main hole. As you can see, it's quite a large. Uh, Quite large, quite a large tank, especially with anything to go by, and the detail is uh, very nice, very nice indeed. Not much texture on the front, but uh, we can soon remedy that if there is neck teach texture. But nicely moulded, you know. Trumpets do do nice do nice, do nice uh, Russian Russian vehicles. I really do. I do like trumpeter kits. As you can see it's all nicely moulded, nice resin uh, bolt heads on the end, on the uh, it looks like the engine covers. Uh, oh, the grills are another four to edge to go on top of those. Um, I do like the spike on the front, the pike on the front. It really looks it looks awesome. It really does. So it draws me to the tank. We've got some nice weld lines along weld seams as well. Where can we? Can we see them? Yeah, there we go, we can see the weld seams. They look really nice. Right down there as well. And the pike up towards the uh, driver's hatch. They'll take a nice wash, they'll look really nice when they're done. So that's that's just obviously that's the main uh, the main body we'll put up the hole. And then we have uh, oh, this is part of the uh, I presume it could be the part of the turret. Well, look at it, it kind of sounds like it's in a bag on its own, but we shall see. It looks part of a turret to me. Yeah, just the usual sort of thing. Not much texture on there at all, it's quite smooth. A few little uh, bit of detail, but not too much. Let me see, not too much. It's strange in a, in a bag on its own, unless it's an add to or something that's been uh, changed over the years since the kit was first introduced and then we have the uh, the lower part of the hull which again is quite large, obviously it's going to be large and it's, uh, it's 135 T10 and just a lot of numbers there's no date or anything like that and there again look at the the detail on that that is superb it is just a shame that we can't, you know, well we could, we can just use a, a mirror underneath, couldn't we? Really, and don't weather it too much, the light, light weathering, you could pick all that uh, lovely detail up with the, uh, for the suspension arms and the, uh, you know, the scare patches and one thing or another. That's really nice, really nice indeed. So, so far so good. We'll keep going with the plastic at the moment. So, uh, 
come across anything else. And then we have, this says it's sprue. I think it says S. Which looks like obviously there's two sprues in here which is both the uh, both S and the buff. One's a bit loose but uh, as you can see all nicely detailed again. Nice crisp detail. No bits of flash. Really quite nice again. It's proper. It's really nicely detailed. And the idler for the idler. That's quite nicely detailed as well. A few little parts, small parts. Obviously, we've got a few uh, suspension arms, idlers, and things and whatever. And all a few little bits and pieces. All nicely molded. One of the uh, looks like one of the fuel drums. Yeah, it is because there's the, uh, the lids for them. I think there's four fuel drums on two small ones and two large ones, if I'm not mistaken. Nicely moulded again. And these have been slide moulded, the uh, barrels, so there's no ugly seam marks on them at all, which is quite nice. That's, I like that. That's nice. Really nice. The one thing less to worry about is uh, the ugly seam lines on the uh, fuel tank, so sometimes they go right where the uh, where they have the bit of detail and you sometimes rub the bit of detail off unfortunately but that's that's nice we don't have to do worry about that or not and then what was the next sprue yeah it was a part of the whole uh, sort of the tunnel there's another piece here so maybe that's a uh, you know a new part they've added to the kit fortunately it's a uh, two piece barrel but it is nice it shouldn't be too bad to uh, Get the seam out. I'll have to see how much a new, uh, you know, a metal barrel barrel is for it. But I'll work with the plastic one. That's what they give us. It's here. There's no, the only one I can see being a problem is is at the end here with all the lines. But I've got some thinny sticks, so I might be able to do it with them anyway. So it so shouldn't be too much of a problem. All nicely detailed again. There's a few hatches. All detailed again. Quite nice. Plate. That must be the rear plate. That's nice, nicely detailed again. Nice ra uh, raised rivet heads on them. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh. Just disappointed, it's, uh, I thought it might have been a slide moulded uh, barrel, but if they can do the barrel, I must be able to, should be able to, able to do the, uh, the turret, but never mind, never mind. Can't have everything, as you say. We can't have everything. And obviously we have me and now we have the uh, the turret, quite a large turret, and it's got a nice texture on it. Really has a nice texture. That is lovely. That would look superb when it's been painted and a bit of a wash on it. It'll really come out nice. And obviously we just have the lower lower hull and the uh, part of the gun, part of the mantlet. See all the things. I see all the, see all the uh, ugly pin marks and things are at the rear. In the, you're not going to see. So that's that's really nice. I like, do like that turret. I like the shape of it. It's nice. And the texture on it is superb. And the little rivet heads as well, all the way around it. That's really nice. I do like that. Looking forward to building this kit. But say uh, I've no plans in the near future to build it. So even though I've been after it for quite a while, I have a few other things to build. Before I get into this, before I get to it, uh, and then we have another cup, another sprue, which look like well, if these are muck guards or anything like. That, I'm not sure. I'll just uh, don't think I think they're just boxes to go on the side. I think uh, these might be part of the uh, muck guards. Some nicely delicate. Uh, Terribly moulded parts, have to be careful taking them off, but they say they really are nice fine moulds. A few small parts there, but the detail on them again is... Uh, where are we at? Let's get this camera the wrong way around. Let's put my hand in front. Can we see it? There we go. That doesn't really make much difference. Let's see. There we go. All nicely detailed again. Everything's there. And then we have the, for the uh, for the gun when it's in transit. 
can never remember what it's called. Uh, I think there, there must be there's two, so there must be uh, one there and one there. So there must be either uh, two boxes on for the uh, boxes for the outside of the tank. Thought there were a little more guards on the first thing, but they're nicely moulded yet again. No problems with that at all. These are nicer bags, thicker, not as flimsy, and the actual parts go back in. So. Right, and then we get to a, there's another little, all individually packed these uh, little uh, these sprues, and then part of the, uh, looks like we have the big, the big uh, machine gun, it's individually built, which it looks nicely detailed and the end is hollow. Both of them. You got the. Uh, it's a monster of a gun. This on the front of this thing. I'll have to read up about it and see what exactly what it's called. Or if anybody knows, just leave it in the uh, the comments box. I say it's not nicely uh, nicely detailed. And we have some little more little piece, bits and pieces. We have a big fat thumb out the way. They're all nicely moulded again, no flash, no stupid injection marks anywhere. All nicely done, all nicely uh, moulded. I think that might be the end of a small little gun, I think I'm not too sure. There again it's uh, got to be built up. It's nice. It's a nice little, little sprue again, and then we have another little sprue. Look at these little sprues. I'll have to look into all these where they're all individually. I'll not this one out, but there's another, it's like another box for the engine for the front of the uh, top of the deck. And some other little bits and pieces on there. No point in getting them out. And then we have more. The sprockets, I say there's no point in getting these little bags out for the sprockets, so you can see they're nicely detailed again. You know. Let's get fat hand out of where. Nicely detailed again. It's got V2, so let's move version 2, I presume. Yeah, it's got V2, so I'll have to look into I'll read the instructions properly when I when I get to them. And again, another little sprue with the, uh, the obligatory log. Let's actually say, I'll get this one out here, it's actually quite nicely moulded. Even though I probably won't be using it, I've got plenty uh, plenty sticks in my garden. They say it's quite nicely moulded. You can. See, it's nicely moulded though. Yeah. You can see the fine. Wood grains on it. I'll, I'll, I'll paint it and weather it and things and see what it comes out like and I'll decide if I, uh, if I use it or not. But again, all these nice little parts again, all nicely, nicely moulded again. So I'm going to have to look into all these because this is says there's no sprue gate, so there's no sprue number on the H it says, so that one obviously must be an original part. But when we get to the instructions, we'll, we shall see what. Uh, what they all mean. And then we have two sprues here, uh, running gear, so this one's there's four all together, four, four sprues, but they're all the same for the uh, suspension arms and the and the wheels. There we are. All nicely moulded again. Nice and crisp and fresh again, no, no silly, no flash, no burring. Uh, minimal clean up again, obviously the usual sort of thing. Nicely detailed, really nicely detailed again. So I said it's uh, four sprues like that, so there's no point in getting the other ones out to show you. Uh, and then we have another one, another piece of plastic with two sprues. The same, we have a little, I think it was for the rollers at the top. And we have some little uh, handles, you know, grab handles. I think this is supposed to be the rope for the 
the top of the rollers at the top small little bits and pieces again we have the thing for the uh, tow hooks for the two things to go on all nicely moulded again no there's no wrong with that I have to get used to this camera being that way so they're showing it towards the end and again see nicely moulded again any injunction marks where they're going to be where they aren't going to be seen nicely nice again so there's no point in getting the other sprue because it's identical so have to be careful when you back with some fine small grab handles on there which I don't want to uh, break before I even start the kit and then we have tracks which we have one two three four five ten ten sprues We'll open one up and have a look at the tracks. We'll have a look. Let's just see what we've got. Yep. Nice. Nicely moulded. Nice detail. I can't see any stupid marks where there shouldn't be. Any injection marks on the inside even. Nope. It's got a bit of clean up to do with the four, it's the only thing was for uh, four attachments to the uh, sprue gear, but that shouldn't be a problem, just do bit by bit, can't we? As you're watching TV or doing something else, you can just take them out and sand them. Nice. Nice plastic as well. I like them because of the different colour of the uh, to the actual grey plastic, so it's giving you a good base to start to work from for your uh, track colour. Nice, very nice. Just a time consuming but there again. You know we don't everybody builds at their own pace and at their own rate so I don't mind building things like that. I have quite a bit of patience for things like that. Which don't really bother me at all. There's a bit more plastic in this side here. Uh, these are just the side skirts I would think yeah for the end of the top of the not point in getting them out. Just a run of the mill type thing. Just uh, there's no Sorry for the glare. Just to say, really, nothing, nothing styling to say about that. Uh, right, then we get to the uh, the PE and things. We have got one, two, three. That's not light enough now, is it? So we need to bring it up there, perhaps. Let's see if I can keep it. Not too light. There we go. Straps and engine, you know, engine grills and all the other little bits and pieces on that side. And then we have looks like mud guards and other bits and pieces, more straps. We're looking at bits and pieces again, and then we have another sprue with more PE again. That's what we have out of it. So there's quite a bit of photo watch on this kit, so. I don't have a photo edge bender but I'm sure I'll be able to cope with that one. Just take me time. Nice again. Nicely detailed. I'll put that back in the box. And then we have a piece of uh, piece of wire for the cable for the tow hooks, which is nice. It's not string, it's actually cable, the wire cable. Nice again, we don't need to worry about getting that out. And then we have the decals. Which I shall, I'll take out the bag. I'll take the decals out of the bag. He says, do with a new blade, I think. And nicely take the tape on. I'll, I'll just break one side off. And we'll have a look at them. So they're quite nice. Oh, let's get them. Options for the uh, number of the tank, the Russian military markings. They look quite nice, they don't look as if there's any shine on them. And closely cut, you might be able to see that actually closely, very closely cut to the, uh, to the numbers. So there won't be any silver, and I wouldn't have thought in any of this, or I wouldn't expect them to be. They're nice, they're nice, they're nice. Can't really argue with the detail is quite nice on them. 
So that's the decals, let's pop them back. And then finally, in this box, the instruction sheet is at the bottom in this one. Some other bits and pieces, let's have a look at what else is in this box. So I've say I've never opened them since I got since I got them. Just a quick glance, not really uh let's have a look what we've got. We have a few other, you know, advertisements for trumpet and other kits, you know, ships, tanks, and we have a little bit of uh Ah, well, what's this here? This kit contains 260 parts and 13 sprues. 58 parts of photo etched and two copper cables. So this is obviously telling you where they actually go. So we've got bits for the muck guards, obviously the engine cover, for the uh, straps for the barrels, which is nice. Uh, box for the machine gun. Uh, other little bits and pieces. That's nice, I didn't, that's... Uh, Look into that, and I see on either side it's just an advertisement for their uh, for the kits that they uh, that they have. Which is quite nice again. Shine on them, and then we have some. We've said for our photo edge penders, and it says about them where you can get them from, and formatic gauges in black and silver, and flexible file holder, which I've already got. Quite nice, quite nice thing to have, and then obviously we have the photo edge benders, which I don't, uh, which I don't have. So I, may, I may invest in one at some point, and then we have, you know, it's quite a little booklet with details of what the uh, the trumpet and stuff you can actually buy. Quite nice chisels and different handrail jigs, model tool set. Plastic circles and things for the you know for your uh, different side wheels and obviously we have display cabinet cabinets uh, turntable which I was looking at one of those these turntables with the that spin round and then we get to some more tools engraver razor saws hobby knives model clamps which I don't really need I've got one of those I've got the Zimmer uh, tool uh, display stands again. Other bits and pieces, more bits and pieces, chisels, and we have the same on the back, different things again. Well, I'll have a little gander at that later on. Right, so we're going away from the kit there, so sorry. So, first now we have the uh, the destructions again, the usual fare on the front saying about you know what parts are where and not to glue and cut and remove and bend and the decals and all that usual sort of thing. I'm telling you about reading before you assemble it and decal application and then we get into the uh, we have a sp sprue gate map which is quite nice again and then we start off obviously on the lower hull with the uh, the um, running gear again and the uh, idler wheel that looks like the idler wheel Take that out for now. We'll come with that bit back, which is nice. That's a nice touch you're going to do like that. And carrying on with the suspension and then fitting the wheels and things like that. And then obviously you have to start doing the magic tracks, but I'll do that later on. I'll be doing it then. I'll make it as I uh, go along. I'll be attaching those until every last thing. And then we have the, uh, the uh, hatch and the turret to be built. Yeah, it looks like that part there is an extra part for the uh, turret bin, for the basket at the back, or bin, whatever you want to call it. The mantlet building up of the, uh, the turret again. And the couplers. Then we have the gun, gun assembly, more hatches. That's what these boxes are, yeah, they're uh, to go on the, um, on the turret. There's P straps to go around them as well, so that's going to be quite nice. And then obviously this is the upper hull, putting some of the lights and other bits and pieces. Uh, P again for the straps for things. And we've got the cable for the uh, tow hooks, tow cable. So that's quite nice. So far so good, nothing too difficult or demanding. Um, all fingers and thumbs to death. And we continue on with the uh, construction of the, of the upper hull. And we have another another uh, cable assembly again for the front. 
We come to the usual bit of wood that they have on the Russian tanks at the front. And all this for the light assembly. And again, another light assembly. Uh, these are the PE for the uh, front of the fenders on the front. And then we get back to the uh, rear of the uh, rear rear of the tank, where the um, the barrels go, the extra uh, fuel drums. And these are all four to wedge parts that's bent round the barrel, which is going to be quite nice. And then obviously we have the sub assembly, the metal, the main assembly, and more hatches. And same again with the front of the tank, we have uh, more four to wedge, and obviously the transit holder. Whatever it's called, I can never remember. So it's kind of an in-depth little kit. This it'll take a while to build with these four, these four to etch, more, more four to etch. There for the uh, more more boxes. Yeah, all these boxes are going on the uh, on the tank as I thought. And then we've got all the uh, PE for the uh, engine grills, and then we have the log of one log onto the side. And there again, more PE to hold them on, which is quite nice. They're just sticking them and hoping for the best. And then we have the lower hole and the uh, upper hole set, uh, attached, but I won't attach it yet until I finish the tracks and spray the rest of the thing before I put the tracks back on. And then we have the assembly of the machine gun. And there's quite a bit of PE on here as well. Yeah, quite a bit of PE to build on the machine gun, especially on the uh, boxes. Ammunition boxes, quite nice. Huh? Can we just see them? Yeah, we can see, just see them, can't we? So the bloody box has been there. And then obviously we have the assembly of the turret, completed turret, and the machine gun, the turret, and the turret to the um, upper hull, and a bit more four to etch as well. And then that's the completed model as far as the build is concerned, which is nice again. Yeah, well, quite a quite a quite a build that. I do. I see. I can't understand why a lot of people don't do this. So I see one piece of gloss paper with, uh, you know, only problem is gloss paper you get a good shine, don't you? With the colour callouts. Yeah. Usual Russian green on both. Uh, we have as markings. It's given us it in. Ah, it has here. Uh, Mr. Hobby. Vallejo, Master Model, Tamiya and Umbral. Uh, light green is XF20, that's all it's got in the um, Tamiya one. Or well, Tamiya, I've got a Tamiya in here. So we've got Tim Tamiya, but uh, yeah, fairly straightforward. The white stripe, that'd be easy to do, just mask off and spray. It won't be perfect, so a lot of it will want to be perfect when it was put on, I wouldn't have presumed. Uh, there's no, no, I didn't tell you what the markings are for. What regiment or anything like that. Nothing at all. It's two versions, or three versions actually. Well, I'll probably do the first one with the white stripe. That's what I'll probably do. Just to show you, I can't have to look into that. There's no, uh, I didn't give you uh, what regiment they're in or anything like that. I know I didn't see much action because obviously the Cold War was uh, not one lasted a long time but they were never sort of used whether they were just obviously used in a lot of training exercises I would have thought but uh, yeah so that's nice I like that so that's another kit review all over and I say, uh, I'm looking forward to building again but I haven't uh, got a clue when I get round to it so I'd just like you to thank you for watching again and if you like what you've seen, please subscribe and please leave any comments, good or bad, I'll take them on board. Uh, so this is Greg signing off and thank you for watching.